Well, Americans are pronouncing their citizenship at 220 plus percent higher than at any other time in recorded modern history in our nation's 236 years and are trying to flee the country. We have got massive, we have massive, massive uh, financial news that we're going to be uh, breaking down today as well. We just have huge, huge amounts uh, of information on every front. It is an absolute deluge uh, of info that I'm going to attempt to break down on the broadcast today. Obviously, there's also a lot of news coming out about Hillary and all of her bizarre activities and their enemies list and how they persecute even uh, Democrats uh, that are rivals to their criminal uh, operations. Uh, we're going to be looking at uh, moves to nullify the NDAA and indefinite detention at the state level. Also more on the woman held by TSA for reading Jewish newspaper going public. And she's now speaking out. We broke that story Friday. DrudgeReport.com picked it up. And now the New York Post and other people are freaking out over it uh, because the TSA is proud of themselves. They say, we're going to ask you what you're reading. Well, yeah, they data mine. Here's the big story. I'm going to get into this later. The, the, the TSA for over a decade, but now they're public last year, data mines via NSA and open networks, everything about you, and they're being set up as a domestic security spy force that will then roll out on the streets of America. Now, that's already happened. And I told you 12 years ago when they were first set up that they would be on the streets of America because I saw their founding meetings repeatedly on C-SPAN with Governor Ridge and others of Homeland Security. So I, I've known their plan all along. You're going to have TSA on the streets everywhere. They're going to have a data pad with what you ate for dinner the night before at a major chain. They're going to know how many guns you own, where you live, everything about you, whatever wrong data gets into the databases, which we see constantly. In fact, I was saying that that Alex Jones lady from England, the big talk show host, was born on the same day. No, they put my birth date in as her birth date. And that's even listed. I was looking by the BBC in one area as her birth date, my birth date. That's just an example. Wikipedia's had my name spelled wrong. Emmerich. They have the wrong spelling of Emmerich up there. And they always have. And I sent them a copy of my driver's license. And they will not change it. They said, well, you're the person. Uh, this is about, so we can't believe anything you say. And I'm like, I am the public figure, Alex Jones. This is like five years ago. And, and they said, prove it. Send us some info. So I sent it to one of the editors. They said, now nah, we're not going to do that. So now, when I try to get on airplanes and stuff, they've asked, well, the spelling we have of Emmerich is like this. And I go, that's wrong. And I show them my driver's license. And I still have had issues, I don't know, five or six times because of that. And that's an example just because of Wikipedia. People ask, why am I, I'm kind of digressing here, but just a factoid. That's why our, that's why our, uh, one of our big Facebooks that has 700,000 members has Emmerich spelled wrong because it was a fan page somebody made for us and gave to us. They use that disinfo. So it's not only are they getting your information wrongly and stealing it, a lot of it is incorrect, ladies and gentlemen, especially if you have a common name like Alex Jones. I mean, oh my gosh. I have been blamed for more stuff other Alex Joneses have done. And other Alex Joneses have bemoaned to me that they get blamed because we've got people that don't like me for everything I do. So it just shows how dangerous these technocracies are. It's kind of like in the movie Brazil where the bug falls in the typewriter. And instead of Buttle, it's Tuttle. And they come and arrest him and disappear him and ruin his life and then ruin other people's lives. All because... The police state got something wrong. All right, that's a side issue. I'm going to regroup when we come back on the other side, and I'm going to attempt to hammer through. Oh, my gosh. The top story, Bloomberg has been caught in a secret gun confiscation plan. Biggest news ever. Who obviously uh, are oh, completely run by foreign offshore banks. You know, during um, the, the last break, when we went into break from the first segment, on this Monday, 10th day of February, 2014 transmission, I saw a quote from Obama up there about comprehensive immigration reform on CNN. As we've got CNN, Fox, you name it on the TVs out there, monitoring dinosaur media. And it was Obama saying, quote, 
Did the Republicans support comprehensive immigration reform in 2006? Everyone knows the answer. I rest my case. As if they're just partisanly in the House blocking, legalizing tens of millions of illegals and then allowing them to bring in their families who then promptly get put on welfare and promptly vote to take everyone's guns and promptly vote to make us a communist country, basically. A lot's changed since 2006. The libertarian movement has begun to take over the Republican Party in the words of Joe Biden and Barack Obama and Karl Rove. All those guys are on the same team. The enemy of their enemy is their friend. Sure, Karl Rove and the Democrats aren't on the same team because they all want to have control of the system, of the bureaucracy. But when it comes to knocking out the real Tea Party, that's all they meet about when you learn about Democrat and Republican top strategy meetings with all the blue bloods and all the establishment people. They talk about one thing at Bilderberg, and that's stopping the liberty movement in America. Because if the United States can be wrested from the clutches of the monopoly capitalist anti-free market pieces of garbage, we can roll back their entire program worldwide. The fate of the world rests in the United States. 1776 will either be launched from the United States to roll back tyranny, or 1984 will continue to be pushed and, and, and funded by the blood, sweat, and tears of the once great republic. Because the globalists have already sucked dry and debilitated every other country with their parasitic garbage. And so they came here with their systems of monopoly and the British Empire model that the United States adopted after World War II. And here we are 65 years later, run into the ground. I guess it's longer. How long since 1945 into World War II when we became the global empire? You really say really an empire by 1950. That's still from 1950 to now, 64 years. Unbelievable. Back to World War II, it's almost 70 years, ladies and gentlemen, to the uh, end of World War II. When our forebearers came home after the war, for the first time in modern history, since our country was founded, said, we trust the government now. We're the good guys. We're going to do what's right. And that's why suddenly all the veterans, almost all the white veterans, that's who really led the civil rights movement said, we're not going to be part of this racism anymore. We're not going to be part of segregating people forcibly. We're not going to be part of not letting folks vote. All over the country, corrupt boss hogs got overthrown. It wasn't even racial. It was just people overthrew them. And all over the country, people said, I'm not going to be part of this. And vets all basically ran for office, like my grandfather in Freestone County, and got elected to office and helped push the Civil Rights Act that Eisenhower put through had been the supreme allied commander. Because it was the idea of we're the good guys. We're really going to do the right thing. But the bad byproduct of that was buying into the government's good. And the very same eugenicist elements that had been running the country pre-World War II that had set up Hitler and the Kaiser Wilhelm Institute. This is declassified. This was never even classified. This has been known since the 20s. Who set up all the eugenics worldwide. England created it. The United States seeded it worldwide. And that's the system that we now have in place on a planetary scale. Let me just add one little note to you guys. I started getting white noise piercing at the level of a dog whistle into my earpiece. So I don't know what just changed 20 seconds ago, but just give me that. I, I keep going. It's fine. It's just, it's pretty annoying. Okay, uh, now let's stop right there and get into the top story here today, ladies and gentlemen. The top absolute most important story, period, and one of the most important stories I have ever covered. And you know every few months I say this is one of the most important stories. And it's hard to tell which one is the most important of all time. The missing nuke, still missing, confirmed to be missing, almost the entire nuclear command removed. Uh, the launch officers removed. There is a coup going on in the military. That's absolutely giant. 
Fukushima's big, not even the radiation, that's a big issue, but the non-response and not caring and other reactors leaking all over the place uh, just shows the madness, uh, just shows the insanity of the elite. Bunch of narcissists, control freaks, power tripping, control freak demons. Uh, I mean, there's been so many other huge stories, so many incredibly important things. Syria almost happening that could lead to World War III, that getting backed off, that's a huge story. By the way, coming up, Iran is being extremely belligerent, and you know I've been anti-Iranian war, but they are really asking for it and really pushing it. And I'm now sure of what we already knew but couldn't confirm currently, that Iran is in league with criminal elements of the New World Order and that the mullahs in 79 were put in power by basically NATO forces out of France, and that they're playing a triple game, and I'm going to be breaking that down uh, coming up later in the hour. It's absolutely essential. Sending ships to our coast, threatening to uh, nuke Israel, and showing missile attack maps. Um, this is staged. The, 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 this is absolutely asking to be attacked. Because the only way the mullahs can stay in power is if they're on the verge of war. And it's disgusting. It is disgusting that they would threaten the world with World War III when the forces of peace here in North America and Europe have already stopped an attack on Iran. It is out of control, and I have analyzed it, and I'm telling you, it's, 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 it's a setup. It is a setup. And, and I'm going to break it down. It's very sophisticated, very hard to articulate. But I'm going to do the best job I can and say 45 after, guys, make me get to that. So that's a huge story. I mean, I mean the point is we're just being hit by giant stories everywhere. But... One of the biggest stories for human liberty, an absolute gift, an absolute bonanza, an absolute lottery winning ticket has fallen into our greedy for liberty laps. And if we don't use this information, and if we don't make a big deal out of this information, I want this top story on the nightly news tonight. I'm going to shoot a special video today with all the clips condensed to break down the treachery and the treason. If, if, if the rest of the, of the real media, the pro-liberty media, the survival media, the common sense media, the non-self-destructive media, the pro-future media, I mean, that's really who we are. It's just normal people who aren't completely insane. If, if everyone doesn't pick this up and write your own articles about it, and if everyone doesn't run with the ball on this, we deserve what we get. Because this broke on Friday, and it has now Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. It's a Kit Daniels article confirmed, and it's gotten almost no attention. And a lot of pro-gun people have not given this any attention because they're like, tell me something I didn't know already. But the plan is to register and then confiscate all guns, all guns in America. That has now been confirmed by a major mayor who was in the meetings with Bloomberg and who was buying into sensible gun control, sensible gun control. Yeah, we should know about mentally ill people with guns. We should register. I mean, you know, why do you gun owners care? We just want to stop the bad guys because we know it's going to be used to take them. That's why it's unconstitutional. They were registered before and people knew who owned guns and who was in the militia, so the British came to confiscate them in 1775, folks. This has happened before. Everywhere else in the world history, in the last 100 years, they register, they always confiscate. It's, it's, it's 2 plus 2 equals 4. This is so huge. But gun owners go, well, we already know that. No, 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 you know that. But even this mayor of a major you know, town in New York didn't know. He was there believing it. And they were all rubbing their hands together going, once we register, we're going to confiscate, just like the mayor of Austin, pro Tim. Mike Martinez said in that speech, they had signs saying, don't confiscate our guns. No gun confiscation with a stop sign. I've known that guy for 18 years comes out with that same sign, a stop sign saying, you know, no to confiscation. And Martinez said, hey, we're not doing that now. But as soon as we, as the man said, don't take our guns. He goes, hey, the guy's right in the front row. He goes, look, he looks at him from 10 feet away and he goes, hey, we're not going to take your guns now. But after we get done registering, we are. So you keep that sign, you're going to need it. Folks, the thing is, they lie to the public usually and say, we're being reasonable. Nobody wants your guns. We're like, well, in New York or Chicago, where you're in control, you do. These are literal mobsters, folks. And if you go out to the anti-gun folks, most of them mean well. They really are just scared of guns and believe the propaganda. They don't know more guns means less crime. 
They don't understand everywhere else they've been taken. They don't understand it's about enslavement, all the government arms against us. If you go out with the video of Mike Martinez, Democratic officials, part of mayors against gun violence and mayors against illegal guns is their new name. And you realize Bloomberg spent tens of millions of his own money to try to disarm you and to try to sue gun manufacturers out of existence while he has 15 bodyguards and armored compounds and jet copters and he carries a gun on record. Just like Michael Moore and all these other people and Feinstein and all, all of them. When you realize it, it, it's treachery, that will wake the public up. The whole world is a stage, each of us players upon it, as William Shakespeare wrote. We've got to take this treachery. This sneaky and in, in, in literal rooms with these people and the fact that it's leaked and push it out there. We're going to come back and play clips and, and break it down. But this is a big deal and it's up on Infowars.com. Bloomberg caught the secret gun confiscation plan. They're going to take everything else. Pension funds, bank accounts, factories, jobs. It's all about domination and control. But I got to say this, a huge awakening is happening. I took my children to Nut Job, and it was an anti Agenda 21 movie, an anti Obamacare movie. It was incredible with Liam Neeson. And then I took him to the Lego movie, and I thought when I walked out, multiple listeners came over and said, We thought you made this movie. And I'm not going to give away the Lego movie, but it is pro libertarian, pro human, pro individual, anti NSA, anti surveillance state. I'm telling you, folks, there is a rebellion. All the old guys are dying or are senile, like Sumner Redstone, that I know personally has stopped a lot of libertarian conservative movements in L.A. He has generaled that. I got contacted by a big celebrity yesterday, or the day before yesterday, when I came out of that movie and turned on my text messages. He was saying, keep going with the Hollywood stuff. You're absolutely on target with that. And I know I'm on target with that. I was out with a huge movie producer yesterday shooting, you know, one of the biggest movie TV producers out there, uh, just a great guy. And we went out shooting with my kids. He invited the kids out to his ranch. And uh, he said, shoot some video for me, but I don't even know if I want to put it out because, you know, guns, they'll come after me. But we were shooting the 50 cals, you name it, Reaper 308s, M4223. It was just awesome. 300 yards, he was shooting bullseye, first shot, a lot of fun. But uh, got some tracers out. The point is, is that almost everybody I run into from Hollywood is already awake and is not a liberal or a conservative. They, they know about the New World Order. They know about the social engineering. They don't like where everything's going. It's only a few globalists at the top that are running this whole show. And once people are aware of their system, it's over. It's over. Now, I want to get into this gun report right now. And I want to break this down because it's very, very important. Here's the headline in the video I shot yesterday afternoon breaking this down. This needs to go mega viral. Bloomberg caught in secret gun confiscation plan. I mean, we can have a story about gay football players on the website and it gets 3,000 comments. We can put out an incredible article. Mayor, nationwide gun confiscation is goals of mayors against illegal guns. And the story gets 1,186 comments. It should have a million comments because in it, in fact, I want, I want Kit and, and everybody to keep doing articles on this, but explain, I mean, give it the sensational headline it needs. Bloomberg, you know, ex explosive, breaking, Bloomberg caught in secret plan to take guns. I mean, this mayor was in there. We already have other mayors that are part of it saying, oh, yeah, once we register, we're going to confiscate. Mike Martinez of Austin, the deputy mayor. When he spoke, the mayor was out of town. He was the mayor. As mayor, we will register. We will confiscate. We have them. They sit there going, we're reasonable. We're nice. Put down your weapons. White flag, truce. We want to work together. While meanwhile, they want to disarm us because they're gangsters. Bloomberg, Emanuel. The L.A. mayor, all these people, is these are gangsters, folks, who have a will to disarm us and enslave us. And this article, Mayor, Nationwide Gun Confiscation is Goal of Mayors Against Illegal Guns. It's very important, and I want you to tweet that out to everybody. 
I want you to get my little video that I shot Sunday out to everybody. David Knight's breakdown of it yesterday is up on Infowars.com. We'll put it in a new article. I want to explain that we have an opportunity to literally destroy the anti-gunners. And remember whenever the day, that Sunday, I was on the air four years ago when the Copenhagen Treaty got leaked to Lord Moncton, confirmed to be accurate, uh, when the Russians hacked uh, the uh, university uh, of East Anglia and got all the UN documents that worldwide they were fixing all the professors to lie and covered a decade of decline in temperature increase. Now it's actually reversing and getting colder. They said hide the decline and all that. We blew them wide open. But the mainstream media wouldn't report on it. I actually got champagne here on air and began drinking, okay? And, and then, of course, you saw it in the next few days explode. And you helped push it out there. Just like we got the plastic out of the, you know, uh, one major fast food chain's bread. Now they're going to take it out everywhere, they're announcing. We can, we can blow their Death Stars, folks. This is a Death Star level event. If you'll simply go down the, the, the trench, fire the photon torpedoes, it's over. It's over. We can blow them. And if you are watching and listening to this global transmission, my friends, make no mistake, you are the resistance. It is the 10th day of February 2014. And please never thank me for what we do on air. It is an extreme honor to be broadcasting worldwide and resisting the globalist. It is an extreme honor to be alive and able to resist these people. It is an absolute imperative to fight the globalist. It is not something you thank somebody for. I'm simply trying to survive and build a future for my family and your family in a good world together based on justice and building, not on based on fraud and lies and deceit and gangs and destruction. So again, thank you so much for joining us. Again, they're acting like they have the moral high ground with the anti-gun movement. Oh, it's for the children. Have care about the kids at Sandy Hook. Care about the children. Don't you want more to die? And we need to say, how dare you when mass shootings are flat, overall gun deaths are down 51% since 92, just department-owned numbers. Wherever you have more guns, you have less crime. People are using firearms to frustrate and stop crime. Literally, I kept saying 14 times, that was one just department number. They've got new numbers out that have been independently gathered. I was seeing a few weeks ago, 70 plus times every time there's an actual crime with a gun, guns are used to stop crime. They have domesticated and disarmed everyone else but a handful of countries, Switzerland, the United States. And the UN openly said July 7th, 2001, that they want a worldwide gun confiscation plan in their UNIDIR meeting. Go look it up. They said civilian ownership of firearms threatens the legitimate power monopoly of the state and that the main goal is the abolition of private ownership of firearms, period. I just quoted it to you. Go look it up. You can type in what I just said and pull it up on their website. They're open about it in their own policy papers and then go, we don't want your guns. We don't, we don't, there's no death panels in Obamacare. There's no doubling prices. You can keep your doctor. That that's all lies of those conspiracy people that read the bill. And of course, Feinstein's been truthful and said we want to ban guns. Michael Moore has been truthful before and said the goal is to ban guns. Obama, as a state senator, you can read his quotes in the newspaper where they would send out questionnaires. When he was running for Senate, got into the state Senate, got into the federal Senate, he said, I want a total gun ban. The goal is to ban guns and have a, quote, peaceful society, except they have all the guns. See, they don't lay their guns down in government. They're arming to the teeth with war wagons, tanks, helicopters, billions of rounds of ammo, training to take over major cities. That's why the military's totally waking up, because they've got them in these briefings at the non-commissioned officer level and up, openly preparing for war with us. And the troops are going, this is all true? All these years, what all the conspiracy people said? Where do you think we learned all this? High-level military leaks. That's why we know the whole game plan. So if we lose this fight, we, we deserve it, folks. We've got the entire enemy attack plan. We know they're an enemy. We know they're usurpers. We know they're illegitimate. I'm getting chills right now. We know they're horrible and want to shut this country down and re-educate us, basically. They, the globalists have a score to settle with America because we were free compared to other nations. They want to extinguish that. 
The globalists are generational. They want to destroy you because of who your great-grandparents were, folks. You better get with the program and understand this. I can't believe we even have to have a debate about what side you should join out there if you work in the system. It doesn't mean you have to do a bunch. You got to do a little bit. You got to leak information. You got to legally and lawfully slow down. You got to sabotage. Legally and lawfully, there's lots of ways to not go along with the criminal tyrants. You've got to identify who else is awake. You've got to get prepared. And, and when you can, or if you're committed, go public, speak out. Everybody can do different things. And together, we will bring down this system as individuals. This system is designed to bring us down. It's designed to bring down productivity and independence. We must bring down the system that is designed to bring us down. We're being fed into a collective wood chipper. We have to sabotage the engine. We have to blow the engine. They're already literally shutting our power plants down, our factories, our small businesses, trying to sabotage the young and impressionable minds of young children, screwing them up in school with two plus two equals five. And, you know, everybody's got two daddies and five-year-olds need to learn how to masturbate with the perv schools, trying to push inoculations and all this other garbage and abortions and all the rest of it. I mean, this is a wall of crooks that we've put up with who at the end of the day are mentally ill, are psychopathic, are sadistic, and literally love screwing up good, wholesome things. I was looking, and nobody was perfect back then, and there were the evils of that day as well, but I was looking at uh, high school yearbook annuals for a memorial for my uncle coming up next week uh, with all his friends and military buddies coming into town from all over the country that I'm going to be uh, speaking at. And we were going through all the photos and stuff at my grandmother's house on Saturday. Uh, she's almost 90 years old. And, I mean, seeing pictures of my uncle, you know, winning the hurdles and what good shape he was in and how everybody looked so healthy and so good. And, and they had, like, posture awards at McCallum High School where he went to school and uh, here in Austin. And, and it was all about, uh, uh, you know, uh, awards for being honorable and, like, you know, helping disabled children and just... And, and people were really into that. They were really be into being good, but the evil system manipulated their goodness to carry out evil missions later and to literally empower this systematic takeover of the planet while the globalists were also attacking that goodness and undermining America at the same time. Because it's full-spectrum attack. It's full-spectrum takeover. So here is the top story, ladies and gentlemen. Mayors. Nationwide gun confiscation is goal of mayors against illegal guns. And the headline really should be, and it's a good headline, it should be, Mayor Blows the Whistle on Secret Gun Confiscation Plan. I mean, this is so big that he's in the meetings with mayors for a disarmed enslaved America should be the real name. And then we have the, the mayor pro, pro team in Austin, who's part of Bloomberg's group on record, trying to get gun shows banned, trying to get everything registered, saying to somebody with a sign that says, don't take my guns. We're going to play that clip in a moment. Don't worry. We're not going to do that now. But after we do this registration, remember last year where they're trying to pass that, we're going to do that. You're going to need that sign. The incredible evil that they go on the news and say, this is just reasonable. Nobody wants to take your guns. That's a conspiracy theory. Don't listen to those people when it's their stated goal of the UN, Handgun Control Incorporated, the Violence Policy Center, all of it. They're literally like in the military in World War I with loudspeakers. The Germans started it and then the British picked it up. They would, they would say in English, we're, we, you know, your people have surrendered. We're coming over. Put your hands up and we won't shoot. You don't have to fight. You don't have to die. And people would panic in the trenches and drop their guns. And you'd have the officers going, no, it's a ruse. No, no, you're lying. You're lying, Colonel. It's not a ruse. I get to not fight. I get to go home to mommy. And the Colonel had to pull his sidearm and start shooting his own troops. And then the Germans would come pouring over. Rah! Just start slaughtering, Rah! bayoneting. It's the same deal. We're not, we're not coming for your guns. There's no Obamacare increasing prices. There's no socialist takeover. There's no plan to legalize the illegals, even though we are going to do it. There's no plan to, to fund and arm Al-Qaeda. Nothing happened in Benghazi. On and on and on and on. It's a military tactic. Of which it's, we're not going to take your guns. We just take them everywhere. We're in control. Every city, every country. It's just like Mars attacks. Don't run. We are your friends. You guys cue it up. I mean, this might as well be the, uh, the White House's uh, announcement. Don't run. We are your friends. 
and it works. People in the movie put their hands up when they say, don't run where you're friends, and they see the aliens shoot people, and they disintegrate, and they still put their hands up. And, and you know, that's actually how it works. I could walk up with a hatchet and go, don't block this, because I'm not going to hit you in the head with it, and just hatchet you in the head. Again, it's like that scene in Save It Priving Ryan. We need to find that scene where he's beating the German soldier. They're rolling around with daggers, with bayonets. And, and that's actually really happened in, in war. And he goes, shh, let's be friends. And he, he, he gives up for a minute. And he gets the initiative and drives that knife right into him. And, and, you know, we have all their battle plans. If we sit here and believe these deceitful liars, we get what we deserve. The point I'm getting at here is it's such a big idea and it's so simple, but at the same time, I can't even say it. It's so incredible. They are treacherous enemies taking over for corporate interests that want to monopolize and control the economy and make us poor to control us. They've taken the guns. They're lying to the public saying they don't want to take them. I know you know their plan is to take them, but you've got to get this info out to everyone and say, listen, do you understand the government's arming to the teeth and corporate interests are while they want to disarm the general public? Do you understand that actual gun crime is dropping because gun ownership is increasing? Do you understand the gun culture is actually seen as sexy and cool and all the liberals are buying guns? Look, women in bikinis with guns could save the planet. You make guns a sex symbol again, which is starting to happen. It's over. It's over, folks. That's why we have a big centerfold of a bunch of fast cars, American Eagles and, and Leanne McAdoo with, with 50 caliber rifles in the new uh, February issue. Because that's how we're going to win, is with our own symbols of what's good and wholesome and strong versus the horrible, broke-back, globalist, weak, dependent, welfare, uh, crime-ridden Chicago, New York, big city crime boss cesspits. Okay, we have to get on the offensive and say, listen, you little dirty, stinking, grimer, warm tongue, speaking in our ear, telling us stand down, telling us go along, telling us we're done. No, we recognize you as the enemy, as a fraud. We don't listen to anything comes over your loudspeakers. You're Tokyo Rose saying, lay down, GI. You're like Baghdad Bob saying, we've kicked the Americans completely out of Iraq. They're not even in the country as bombers fly over and explosions two miles away. We're kicking your butt. So go ahead and nuke cities and blame it on the liberty movement. Go ahead and kill me, New World Order. Go ahead and pull whatever you're going to pull. Nothing's stopping us. We have the initiative, and people want to be free, and you're not stopping us. You're not going to get rid of humanity. You're not going to force merge us with machines. You're not going to keep jacking the food in the water. We're banning your GMO worldwide. We're discovering all the hidden tech we told you about 15 years ago and everything. The public's discovering that. The Trojan horses. The tricks only work once. They don't work over and over again. And now as you suck the resources out to make us poor, it's going to have the opposite effect because we're going to tell everybody who did it. Do you understand that scum? Do you understand me? <clears throat> so again, here is the giant news, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to play these clips right now. You need to get this article. I'm going to have more articles out on this. The big news is everybody in the media, every other talk show host, everybody that listens to this show, I could care less if you give us credit. In fact, I want you to be bigger than I am. Just at a selfish level, I don't like to be absolute tip of the spear, okay? I've walked point enough. All of us need to attack at once with the truth viciously for all our ancestors, for us currently and our children, and for basic justice that a bunch of scum not be allowed to run everything. I mean, it is wrong to have a bunch of anti-human, control freak, gangster slime bags with crazed, criminally active eyes. Just look at Bloomberg. Can you punch my computer up? Just look at that smirking evil intelligence, absolutely hell-bent on bankrupting the gun makers. He used to admit that years ago, taking all the guns, going, I don't want your guns. I'm actually more pro-Second Amendment than anybody. Don't run, I'm your friend. Just register them and just give us a gas. We spare your lives, like right out of uh, The Road Warrior. The great humongous, the Ayatollah of rock and roll, says that if you just lay down and give us the gas, we will be your friend. And then people try to run and give them the gas, and they rape and kill them. But you won't listen. Humongous wants to cut your head off and stick it on a spear. Humongous, that's what humongous does. Mayor Bloomberg is a 21st century suited, humongous, Wall Street scamming piece of crap. Look at him. Put him on screen.
Just look at him. He thinks that you are his slave. He thinks you're broken. He thinks you don't have a spirit. He thinks that you are meat on the table for him to eat. Well, I got news for you, jackass. I am not your slave, and we are rousing and rising the human spirit, and it will not be subverted. <clears throat> As I'll tell you what's happening. I've studied the global elite, and I've studied their history. They're getting so much blowback from all the poison and the cultural garbage. Their kids are all screwed up. The elite aren't as hardworking as they used to be. They're falling apart. They wanted to make us weak. They're weak. He's weak. He's only making people like us stronger. You think you can attack me? You think you can pull this stuff on somebody like me? And my ancestors, everybody else's ancestors out there, and that it won't activate something you can't even deal with, you scum. Oh, yeah, you know what's going to happen. You know what's going to happen. As the spirit of humanity begins to rise, nothing's going to stop us. Nothing on earth is going to stop us. We're committed. The juggernaut started to roll downhill at you, and it's going to get faster and faster and faster. And let's play a game of chicken, New World Order. You think when you set off nukes or cause World War III, you're not going to be fished out of those bunkers? You don't think all the military in those bunkers with you aren't going to realize who did it all and aren't going to do you know what to all of you? No matter what you do, you're going to fail. And you'll never kick the ghost out of the machine that is liberty. You understand that? Excuse me. The point is, ladies and gentlemen, is that we are on the verge of the new renaissance. We are on the verge of so much good. If we just realize that they've taken over the churches, they've taken over the culture, they have literally poisoned the society, so crones like Hillary Clinton, punchupdrudgereport.com, look at that ugly, evil, I mean ugly spiritually, ugly, evil witch, and realize, is that maggot meant to dominate us? Are we meant to be her slave? No. Aha! Excuse me. The point is, ladies and gentlemen, is that... I am so excited about this because if you realize we have them sneaking around in secret meetings with the plan to register the guns, to confiscate them, to violate the civil rights of all Americans. This is civil right, like not letting black people vote or not, you know, all, 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 all the rest of it. They, they want to steal your right to defend yourself. They literally want you domesticated. They want to dehorn you, declaw you. This is what they think. And you've got to realize it and take it personal. I mean, I cannot believe Kit Daniels wrote an article about this on Friday, and no of the big gun publications, no one picked it up. I mean, it's in the city's newspaper. Mayor John C. Tazinski. If I'm pronouncing that right, I want to get him on. How do you pronounce that? T-K-A-Z. Tazik said he quit the group, Taziek, after he quit the group, after realizing it was simply a vehicle for Michael Bloomberg to promote his personal gun control agenda. He goes, it didn't take long to realize in the meetings that their plan was to not stop felons from getting illegal guns. He goes, under the guise of helping mayors facing a crime and drug epidemic, the group is intended to promote confiscation of guns from law-abiding citizens. And he goes on to admit that's what they talked about in the meetings. And then we've got the mayor, pro team of Austin, who's part of it, saying that's the plan. But he loves it. He loves it because he has an instinctive evil a need to dominate people better than him, smarter than him, so he can feed off of us. No way, scumbag! And Obama and all these people trying to get our guns, and the Republicans won't even get vicious. They argue back and forth about, now we are for sensible gun control, but, uh, you know, this provision goes too far. It should be, look, you've taken guns everywhere you've ever been. Stop acting like you don't want to take them. Shut up, Piers Morgan, red coat trash. Go back to England with your crime rate 10 times higher than ours when it comes to mugging, stabbings, and killings. Oh, yeah, there's almost no gun crime because all the guns are confiscated. And the thugs run around raping and killing whoever they want. The facts are in. England has the highest crime rate in Western Europe. Switzerland has the lowest in the world. Because Switzerland, everyone is packing full auto. Which isn't even really that good. I don't like full auto. The point is, because they can select fire down to single or three bursts. The point is is that it, it's just such a fraud. And Adon Salazar's got a big article coming out. <coughs> Shouldn't have been yelling earlier, or growling, actually. Adon Salazar's got an article coming out. Oh, 50 mayors have exited because they were in these meetings with Bloomberg. Since this broke, he's now found mainstream news buried where 50 mayors have exited the group saying they don't want to confiscate guns. It's happening. It's happening. So, so the implosion's happening, but if the tree falls... 
and nobody's there to hear it and to make a sound. You've got to get the articles that are going to come out and the articles that have already come out and my basic video that's up on Infowars.com and you've got to get it out to everybody. Now, there's so much news over the top that I haven't even gotten to. I I'm going to pray during the next break that I can focus and just cover this all. It is, there is so much. Stay with us into the next hour. But there's the video I did yesterday. And I would have come in yesterday, but I was already set to you know go, go shooting with friends and family. Uh, and so I shot this video so David Knight could break it down. David did a great job on the show yesterday going over all of it. And what I'll do is uh, later in the next hour, after I've covered all the huge Iran news, uh, Olympics news, banking news, I've got to get to it. It's all insane. Uh, I will get to all the clips of them admitting the conspiracy to disarm the American people. And I can do a concise report that we can add to articles live on air, but that, but that we can add once it's gone to, gone to YouTube to wake folks up. But... Lastly, it is absolutely uh, essential uh, for uh, everyone out there to financially support this transmission. We're here 110% going up against the globalist, and we are having major victories, but we're being attacked as well. White House run groups are all on record, literally saying, I'm calling for violence, and need to be arrested. That's because they're hoping they could sell that idea. They're dreaming. I don't care. I want to keep living, but I sure want to beat you, and that comes first. So I'm not worried about it. And the issue is I do worry about losing, though. So just please fund us. Buy the InfoWarsLife.com coffee, the Survival Shield, the Fluoride Shield, the Super Male Vitality. That's great for women as well. Consult your physician, though, because this is really high-powered real stuff. And your purchases make the broadcast possible. We're going to end the special today where you can get five months free. Uh, we do that always in December into January. We went long this year to see the nightly news. You can get a membership for five ninety five a month or get a year membership and get almost half a year, 5.3 months free at prisonplanet.tv and see the nightly news. And 11 people can use the membership simultaneously. Best deal out there in subscriber news. And you are funding the tip of the spear, literal Viking berserk news insanity against the globalist madness. We love liberty and we are insane for freedom and we will defeat the enemy because we are desperate. It is Monday, already the 10th day of February, 2014. We have a guest popping in for like 10 minutes at the bottom of the hour with a really important initiative to expose the illegal NSA spying grid and more in a national campaign to try to get attention on that, kind of like we did last week uh, where the Food Babe launched her program here to get the uh, plastic out of the Subway bread. A bunch of other fast food chains have as well, but if she would have attacked them all, it would have just been absorbed. Uh, focusing on one, like a laser beam, now the others are all scurrying, and uh, Schumer wants to act like he's a hero now that he knows the wave's going that way. So the New York senator is saying he wants to do something about that and try to get it banned like it is everywhere else. See, that's how it works. That's how it works, ladies and gentlemen. We can do the same thing on the NSA, all of it. There's also an idea out there that Snowden must be a government operative, and this is being done to kind of roll out the idea of the NSA. Not the way this is going, not the way this is happening. Um, I just don't buy into it. And the Russians would have picked up on that, just like Lee Harvey Oswald, who they basically kicked out of Russia, and who came back. I, I, I just don't think he's a Lee Harvey Oswald. But I'm tempted to get somebody like Steve Pachinik on, who's been calling us and saying he wants to come on to say all that. Uh, you know, I, I just, all that does is create, I mean, I, I just don't buy it. My gut does not buy it. And, it, it, and he could be being used by somebody, and they're going to try to spin whatever he does uh, in that direction. Uh, but there is major intelligence community shifting going on. Pachinik says, like what they saw before 9-11. Oh, undoubtedly, they're going to need a big catalyzing event. They're saying it all over the news that barring a big catastrophic global event, they're not going to get their new world order through. They can't pose as saviors. They need destabilization a wrecked world so they can play God and Savior uh, while feeding uh, on everyone. So that is all coming up. NSA's secret role in assassination program comes out, and now U.S. News and World Report lights out for NSA. Maryland lawmakers push to cut water, electricity, the spy agency, and we're going to be... Um, Covering all of that actually coming up after the break. That's going to be my top story. Because that ties in, top story in this hour, to um, New Hampshire House.
passes bill nullifying NDAA's indefinite detention. New Mexico is moving to do that. A whole bunch of states. And again, it's the moral high ground authority that we have. We can beat these people. And then we expose all the private corporations that are doing the same thing. Google, Microsoft, Apple, all of them are in a race to steal as much data, to build it in. But then we just demand software and programs and create a whole new market that can get America and the world going again in delinking and countering all this. And then they'll come back with new systems to spy, which just creates a new market to counter them. So instead of an arms race, it's a privacy race. That's how economies work, folks. That's how you create new economies. You have to innovate and have goals and something to push back against to be able to build into the future. And the enemy wants to end building and competition to stagnate control and end the Renaissance. We're looking at a 500-year war against the Renaissance right now, toe-to-toe -to -toe with the flower of the Renaissance, 1776, July 4th, literally dealing death blows to the 1984 monster. I mean, this is two different spirits, two different ideas, two different systems uh, in conflict. But we can use the enemy's push against us in a judo move to actually energize. In like fact, we need their attacks to make us strong. This is the animating contest of liberty. This is the secret. It's the secret to everything. Is that giving in, laying down is the death of your soul, folks. You need to choose. You need to decide which side you're on. Will your metal go through the fire? Or will it boil away and be thrown out with the ash? I want my metal to go through, through, in, through, and beyond. Stay with us. Walking down the street, some kids start a fight with you, you know, whatever. The whole point is, is that it's about having fun. It's about being alive. It's about being wild. I got the boys to make a noise. Gotta love it. Feel the crack. You know, that, that right there is he's saying, I got the boys to make a noise. We got the team. You guys are the boys. You like it? You like being on the ship, InfoWars? Going in, going in hard on the enemy. 110%, baby. All right, let's get serious. I tell you, I think the mental health really drove me mad. Shooting those 50s last night and then the 308s, 223s, uh, long Colts. I just love it. It was it was so fun to just be sitting there with the long colt, you know, hitting bullseye at 300 yards because you could like shoot way high above it and then it would be hitting. It was so fun to be shooting those 50s. Mm. I think I actually get high though off the 50 caliber gun smoke. You know, you're not supposed to breathe for a couple seconds after because when you're aiming, you don't breathe already. You tend to <gasps> suck in when you shoot. But the military, uh, you know, teaches folks that you don't want to breathe for three seconds after. And I'll tell you why. One time I pulled the trigger and then looked when I breathed out and it was like gun smoke. That's why I've been coughing all day. <laughs> I'm out there and wear a respirator. Mm. I've got this old B-52 ammo that shoots super hot out of the rifle. And it's armor piercing incendiary. Uh, we weren't shooting that last night. That'll really... You know, though, they've done studies that it releases the same hormone shooting high caliber weapons... Uh, that other things like high-level exercise and, well, intercourse does. I'm not kidding. And, 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 and so it is a very serious uh, stress reliever uh, to, uh, I love hand firing the 50 cals. I was doing that again last night. Ten rounds just across a lake, just boom, boom, boom. And then watching the tracers hit the water and then skip. You can only do it when you're on a giant ranch and just like photon torpedoes disappearing uh, out into the woods beyond. You know, I'm actually here to cover news today, ladies and gentlemen, and I apologize, but I I've been jogging and swimming for years, and now I finally got back into weightlifting, and I've been doing uh, legs and full body stuff, and I'm getting into heavier weight, and it boosts testosterone naturally, and on top of the, 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 the uh, supplements for InfoWars Life, I mean, I am crazed, so I apologize for that. Uh, now, without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, uh, on this day before my 40th birthday tomorrow, uh, people are... People are, that's ridiculous, guys, take that down. I mean, that's not even big enough muscles to show off there. <laughs> that, that was the Austin Chronicle saying, make a muscle. Because I don't know how the Austin Chronicle got like the one muscle picture of me. I was at a gym like when I was 22 and they said, oh man, where I'm a trainer up here and we have a wall of people I train, even though I don't train you, take your shirt off and take a picture. 
And then that ended up years later getting to the Chronicle back when I was in shape. Google Alex Jones muscles if you want to see when I look like Bruce Lee on steroids without the steroids. That's when I was in shape. Pull that up. It's like, doesn't matter. The point is, is that no more job of the hut soon, folks. Anyway, side issue. I'm going to stop right there. I am, uh, I'm just in a really good mood right now. Because we're going to take the fact that Bloomberg got caught in secret meetings with all these mayors. Secretly saying the plan is to bankrupt the gun industry, buy up, uh, buy up whoever we basically can't get. Uh, and uh, what was the rest of it? It was also um, go in and take over uh, the different uh, states through the cities, which is backwards, it's unconstitutional, and then ban guns after we register them. That right there just causes me total endorphin rushes because they've been caught so much saying that's not the plan. And I'm going to break that down in a concise report in the next segment ahead of all the other news. But now, without further ado, let me give you the news. More good news. New Hampshire House passes bill nullifying NDAA's indefinite detention. On February 6th, the New Hampshire State House of Representatives approved a bill that would protect citizens from being indefinitely detained by the federal government as permitted by the National Defense Authorization Act. And then I've got another one dealing with the NSA. Lights out for NSA. Maryland lawmakers push to cut water, electricity, a spy agency headquarters because they are committing felonies every time they take data without a, a uh, warrant. I mean, they're turning on your cameras and your phones. It's all on record, folks. It's ridiculous. And they just hope you're ignorant uh, and don't research that more. New Mexico is following suit. A bunch of other states, simply amazing. And they say, oh, we need this to stop another 9-11. That is not the facts here, folks. We have the whistleblowers, Sibel Edmonds and others who were at the NSA and the FBI, who heard all the chatter and the order of the stand down. Then we have Colonel Schaefer, Tony Schaefer and others who were on the other end being ordered to stand down. And she can corroborate him being told to stand down to not kill bin Laden two weeks before and two days before 9-11. They had him. Absolutely could have killed him, the U.S. Army. And wasn't allowed to. Unbelievable. So we've got uh, that information. Uh, continuing here now, look at this type of, of, of political correctness. This is being uh, reported by uh, the University of San Francisco. California school forced to remove racist menu uh, they said that uh, Turkey is offensive because it's associated with the pilgrims and with honkies. A uh, lunch menu that was part of a celebration of Black History Month was stereotypical of black Southern culture that comes from the same place where the N-word comes from, according to University of San Francisco professor. And uh, again, will Turkey be seen as offensive during Thanksgiving? Well, yes. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, by the way, give me Southern cooking. I don't think it's just the black people that like chicken fried steak and sweet potatoes and uh, and collard greens. That's just what people in the South eat. And by the way, in Austin, all the liberals, like Sandra Bullock and the rest of them, they all own Southern cooking places that are great. I mean, there's nothing racist about chicken fried steak and sweet potatoes, folks, and watermelon. This is just all complete bull, okay? I mean, it is insane, ladies and gentlemen. My grandmother made excellent fried chicken and nothing to do with black people on the fact that they had good taste for good food. I mean, I have just absolutely had enough of this, ladies and gentlemen. Cream gravy and mashed potatoes is not racist. It will make you have a heart attack, though. <laughs> it will kill you if you eat too much of it. The point is, is that I have just about had enough. I mean, I like Cajun food. Am I making fun of French people from, from Canada? I mean, it's just, it literally, while all the real abusive stuff is going on, while all this stuff is happening, they're getting us to obsess over an American flag upsetting people on Cinco de Mayo. Here's another one. Black residents reject Trader Joe's because it would attract too many white people. That is in the Oregonian. The Portland African American Leadership Forum said that they do not want a white store in the area. I mean, this is the mind control, ladies and gentlemen, that is going on here. And again, that's all leftist ideology. They actually want to keep everybody in their own little subgroup 
and then keep the guilt going and keep the economic war gaming going on. They want everybody divided into groups they can control. And I know that's elementary. Now, now here's the really big news that I haven't gotten to yet. I will cover this at 45 after when this guest leaves us, this guest that's popping in. This is so huge. Iran warship heading to Atlantic barely survived earlier tangle with U.S. Navy. That was in Operation Praying Manus. The Iranian frigate Sahand burns after being attacked by U.S. destroyer and A-6E intruder aircraft in the Persian Gulf, April 18th, 1988. But I'll just give you some background about Operation Praying Manus. Now, let's go further here. This is what's currently in the news. Iran TV air simulated bombing of Tel Aviv U.S. aircraft carrier showing the city blowing up. Not a very good idea to do that with a country that's got 800 nuclear weapons of the highest technology. Uh, let's continue here. Here's another one, Jerusalem Post. Tehran sending messages as warships approach U.S. And I've gone and checked it. It's in the Iranian press. This is out of control provocations, ladies and gentlemen. And I've done everything I can to try to stop a war with the Iranians to try to stop the wrongful attack and backing of Al-Qaeda and the Wahhabi Sunnis uh, in Syria. And, and, and Assad has not been promoting war, not been promoting attacks on Israel. It's wrong to do what we're doing to him. It's a war crime. But Iran is really asking for it, and I will break down why coming up at 45 after when this guest leaves us who's popping in. This is a big, 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 big deal. And then we're going to get into Americans renouncing citizenship, up 221%. All aboard! And I told you, and I told you, and I told you again, Bitcoin just keeps crashing and crashing. Told you four years ago, don't get into it, and I told you last year. Bitcoin bug causes massive sell-off. We'll be right back. Stay with us. We have caught them. Mayor Bloomberg, who heads up a national movement of mayors calling for forced registration, banning of gun shows, ending private sales so that they can then confiscate the guns. We've always known that. They've admitted that in their literature. But in an article that came out Friday, and we have new articles coming out in a mere minutes, a mayor has gone public and was in the meeting saying they talked about the real goal once they register being confiscation. Since this broke Friday, 50 mayors plus have announced they are leaving the group because of the gun confiscation plan. Adon Salazar is literally 15 minutes away from having this go up with a red link. This is so huge because it proves their sneaky plan. Now, let's go over some of the history of this if you're a new viewer or a new listener. Because even if you're for gun control, it's not about, quote, restricting mentally ill people or whatever from getting guns. That's already done. Adam Lanza got his illegally from Sandy Hook. Tried to get him five times. Stolen from his mother. It is about disarming the general public so a political criminal class can dominate us. Here is Feinstein saying the plan is get the votes for Mr. and Mrs. America, turn your guns in. If I could have gotten 51 votes in the Senate of the United States for an outright ban, picking up every one of them, Mr. and Mrs. America, turn them all in, I would have done it. And that's back when she thought she could have gotten the votes. Nowadays, they go, oh, we don't want your guns. Bloomberg says, I'm pro-gun. Just in the city I run, they're totally banned, except for people like me who have bodyguards. And Michael Moore has bodyguards. Now, here's Mike Martinez, who was mayor pro tem. Uh, speaking in Austin at a gun rally, if you're a radio listener, pointing at a guy that has a sign saying, stop gun ban. And the guy says, don't ban my guns. He says, hey, we're not going to do that now. But after we're done with this, registering, that's what they were pushing, you're going to need that sign. Yeah, he's, he's, he's in the meetings too, but he likes it. He likes the treachery. He likes the sneakiness. He likes racketeering, in my view, to get government and corporations together to register guns to then ban them while lying to the public organizing secretly to violate God-given civil rights and disarm people. That's like trying to keep black people from voting, folks. I mean, this is literally disarming people. This is taking our rights, the right of self-defense, the most important, quite frankly, other than free speech. And we go crazy over free speech as well. Here's Mike Martinez last year. First of all, to the gentleman that's dying for attention, uh, someone needs to inform him that there is no gun ban currently. But because of the work that we're doing here today, 
We will make your side legitimate shortly. So you hang on to that. All right, so now we have 50 mayors since this weekend. As I was saying, nothing's happening, no one's covering it. Suddenly, articles just came out separately that mayors are distancing of themselves. It's begun. One guy stood up, now they're all standing up. Now it'll be hundreds of mayors, thousands of mayors. This is how you win, folks. I can tell a chink in the armor when I see one. Smog is missing his whole breastplate right now. You can just close your eyes, shoot a black arrow, he's going down. But we got to collectively pull the arrow back. You got to get these articles at Infowars.com and get them out to people and make every gun magazine cover this and get on the offense. Oh, it's kind of extreme to be pro-gun. It's kind of extreme to say they have a plan to enslave us. No, it's not guns and ammo. No, it's not gun publications. When you're hit with a hardcore attack, you respond with how you're being attacked. If somebody's mugging and you don't say, oh, this neighbor's being rude to me. No, you're being mugged. When they try to take your guns, it's a criminal action. Respond to it. Get aggressive. We can defeat them because they're so open and have been caught lying. Now, let's go to another clip here. Let's go to the sheriff uh, defies New York gun ban. Uh, here is that clip in New York. The SAFE Act isn't the only example, but it's certainly one of the ones that, that points the most to the fact that our government isn't listening to the people, and we are the government. That's the sheriff in Erie County that's got millions of people in it. You know, skyscrapers in the background, major cities. Boom. Not going to do it. Let's go out to break with this clip of a woman. This is out today. Carla, homeowner, shoots shotgun to ward off would-be burglars. Says she will not be a victim. And they picked the wrong target, a woman with a shotgun, greeting uh, robbers outside her home in Los Angeles. Real the homeowner feminism. is named Carla. Valkyrie. And she said she was letting her dog out at night when she heard someone in her backyard. And he said that crazy has a gun, and I shot it into the dirt, oh, into the grass shot him, area. Lady. And and to let him know, you know, I've got a gun and I know how to use it. <laughs> Way to go, Carla! She fired off a shot that sent the guy running. Yeah, our culture's winning. Pro liberty, pro human, pro liberty, pro empowerment, pro woman, pro man, pro. God-given rights, we're winning, we're on the march, the empire's on the run, we're never backing down, we're never stopping. And we're going to expose the NSA's crimes straight ahead with a national initiative. Stay with us. We launched last Tuesday with the Food Babe, that initiative, you as our listeners took action, and we're a big part of that victory. So I salute you. Uh, and, and you notice now the other fast food makers are falling like dominoes saying they're going to pull out that chemical or similar chemicals. There's a whole family of them. I mean, it was on CNN 10 years ago that McDonald's nuggets have silicone in them. Uh, our FDA says it's okay for melamine to be in baby formula. Uh, they execute you for that in China. I mean, this is a big deal. There's a reason we have the highest diabetes, the highest cancer, because we're a dumping ground for toxins. Now, I bring that up because we have the NSA and the things that uh, is going on with it. And there is the daywefightback.org, which is nonpartisan. That's what I like, trying to get left, right, center, libertarians like ourselves together uh, from across the political uh, spectrum to say no. And this is coming up in 10 hours, and everybody's going to put a banner on their website. I'm going to put it in some of our rotating banners uh, for everybody to say no. We don't want the NSA spying on us. We're aware of what's happening. You see states like Maryland moving to turn off the power to the NSA, New Mexico, uh, Utah is looking at that. What they're doing is illegal. And they want to divide us on race, religion, uh, culture, uh, liberal conservative on this issue of the NSA. It's the Fourth Amendment. That's what I always tell establishment leftists who, who really believe in gun control because they're ignorant, is if they can take your Second Amendment, they're going to take your first, which they're doing. So we stand up for everybody's First Amendment. Everybody's second, fourth, fifth, tenth. That's what it's all about. And so joining us is Nathan White, Washington representative for Demand Progress. And I appreciate you coming on. Tell us about the initiative you guys are launching now. You've had some other initiatives that have been successful around the Bill of Rights and what people can do to help promote awareness. Well, first of all, thanks for having me on the show. I really appreciate your attention to this important matter and appreciate you participating in February 11th, the day we fight back against mass surveillance. Well, tell us, tell us about it, yeah. So last summer, we found out we had confirmation of what we've been hearing for a long time. The government is spying on us. It's a matter of fact. The government is spying on us. If you use a computer, if you use a telephone, if you use any sort of modern system of communication, the government is spying on you. 
that's a problem. You just said it. It's a violation of the Fourth, and I would argue also the First Amendment of the United States Constitution. When the government does that, it's going too far. And when it violates the Constitution, that isn't a left-right issue. The Constitution is the thing that holds the left and the right together. They're the trying to chill free speech. Exactly. They're trying to chill free speech. So it is an attack uh, on free speech as well. You're right. So we, we've got together, and we wanted to take a moment to bring everyone together to speak with one voice to say, no, this is not okay, and this has got to stop. And we chose February 11th as the day we fight back. The website's the day we fight back org. And we have a really broad coalition from everybody from Greenpeace and ACLU all the way to the Libertarian Party and Campaign for Liberty and Freedom Works. We've got corporations. We've got websites. We've got activists. We've got thought leaders. We've got everybody because everybody understands that this is a problem. It cannot continue. And it's up to us to take this moment to make sure it stops. Tell us about the initiative and how folks can uh, promote it. Well, the website is thedaywefightback.org. That's where you can get into the network and sign up to participate. So far, we have almost 5,500 websites, some huge, some small, willing to participate, that they're going to host a banner saying today is the day we fight back and ask you to participate. We already have tens of thousands of Internet users who have signed on to participate. And what that means is really open up to you. We have a, a widget where you can put in your address and your zip code, and it will tell you the phone number of your senator and your members of Congress, so you can call and say, no, stop this. I, I don't want this. But it, we're also encouraging people to go further. The Internet is such a dynamic, interesting place because it's millions of people working together to do whatever the hell they want. And this is that opportunity of, you know, you are the hero. This is your story. This is your Internet. This is your fight. Do what you think. You know, some people are going to have creative tweets. We're asking people to put together memes, put posts on the Internet, to do whatever they can, whatever they feel comfortable with, to do what they can. And, and at the very least, we're also asking people to go ahead and call Congress because at the end of the day, we are going to need Congress to do something. And absolutely. And, 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 you know, and, and, and Congress to do anything is tough. Exactly. And I love some of the groups on there. Some of them not so much. It doesn't matter. It's about getting in the habit of working together. It's about getting in the habit of agreeing on what we can agree with each other. It's about getting in the habit of getting outside the left-right paradigm uh, and, and saying, hey, there's things that everybody agrees on. The NSA, over 90 percent, are, are, are upset. But that doesn't even matter. It's illegal. No free society does this. The government, Bush and now Obama, have been caught lying about what's happening. Clapper committed perjury saying that they're not spying on us when it's on record. What else don't we know? How deep does it go? And, and we need to have solidarity with all these states across the country that are moving to block this as well to, to literally culturally create a stigma uh, around Big Brother type activities. You know, there are so many different reasons why this is wrong. You just outlined some great reasons why we need to stand up for civil liberties. But this is one of those interesting cases where uh, doing what's right for business is also what's right for the common good. Right now, one of the most innovative job creators we have is the Internet. It allows the smallest corporation to compete against the biggest corporation. It allows Netflix to dethrone Blockbuster, and it allows any sort of competition between the smallest and the largest. But when we, we shut that down and, and we don't have that open ability to communicate, then we... And that innovation, we're seeing that most particularly in the future of cloud computing, where we're seeing our overseas partners, they're afraid to do business with American corporations because they don't want Uncle Sam reading their email. When the company says, I'm losing tens of millions, perhaps ultimately billions of dollars, because our partners, our friends in our allied countries, even in Europe, don't want to do business with us. Not only are we violating the civil liberties, but we're also violating the business community. And, and that brings another aspect into this, and it's another ally between businesses, the right, the left, the middle. Everybody who is aware of what's going on is, is against it. And we're asking people tomorrow, February 11th, to say this is the day we fight back. This is the day where we're all going to speak with one voice. So if you're listening, check out the website, thedaywefightback.org. See what you want to do. See how you can participate, but also sign up. It, call your members of Congress tomorrow. Also, uh, let your friends know you're participating. If you're on Facebook, change your images, post status updates. Do whatever you can to let people know that this is not okay and we're going to have to stop it. You know, the establishment is really scared right now, Nathan. And I know you've got your finger on the pulse as well, so I want to get your take on this briefly. 
But when I talk to members of Congress, Democrats, Republicans, independents, you name it, they say, no doubt, the public's the most awake, the most angry we've ever seen across the board. 9% approval rating now has gone to 6% for Congress. That's why they're trying to up the partisan politics is to you know desperately make us think that we're not really together on most issues. Uh, but this has got to really scare the establishment that we're forcing a conversion to take uh, you know the different BPA out of the plastics. We're forcing mm -hmm. a conversion to organic food. We're forcing uh, just across the board when people get involved, we have victories. Well, you know, I, 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 some of your listeners may not agree with this, but I, I do still claim to be a Democrat. But I, I recognize that in the two-party system, you know, the only winners and losers are the parties. That we don't elect a color blue or color red to represent us. We represent people to represent us. And those people need to be more than ideology. They need to be more than just a machine that wants to get promoted within the party structure. They need to be people that have our our interests at heart, and they need to represent those interests. And if they don't, they've got to go, whether they're left, right, red, or blue. They've got to go if they're not working for us. But when you look at USA, or when you look at the surveillance, there's a bill in Congress called the USA Freedom Act, which actually on the House side has more than 150 co-sponsors. And the most interesting thing about it is it's bipartisan. It, this isn't a Republican bill. It isn't a Democrat bill. It's that people who look at this realize it's illegal, realize that people are against it, they come together. And that actually gives me a lot of hope that, you know, sometimes when the people are outraged, when we get together, when we fight back together, left, right, brother and sister, we can still make a difference. And, and that's why I'm so passionate about making sure we do the best we can tomorrow. Absolutely. It's very exciting. Uh, Nathan White, thank you so much for spending time with us. And we'll get some updates uh, in the aftermath. All right. Well, I really appreciate it. And thanks for all you do. You bet. Thank you. The day we fight back .org. And, and folks, expanding on that, even if... And we're going to send them an image. They're going to put our little logo up there as well. Here's the issue. Just like the Second Amendment, we're pushing back against the establishment, reaching out to the left. The so-called Democrats I know in the last five years have been out buying guns. Uh, there's a paradigm shift that's happening right now. And that's why we reach out to these people is that there are people in the system, in the left and the right, who are not just automatons, who do want freedom. And the last thing the establishment wants is anybody working together. They want balkanization. Now, we don't work together in compromising our freedoms with somebody where we give something up and then they give something up because they never really give anything up. But when we can get people together around the Bill of Rights, the Constitution, organic food, the Second Amendment, uh, the Fourth Amendment, we do it. But it's the same thing with guns. The gun culture that the system dreads so much, and I even bet Nathan dreads, by actually talking to Nathan and working with Nathan, we'll end up getting him to come over to our side, which is just the libertarian, pro-human, pro-common sense side. And that's what's happening. And let me tell you how you wake people up and win the Second Amendment war. You take a socialist, you take a progressive, you take one of these people out, you get them to shoot, and it's over, folks. It's over. They're going to be running around in a John Deere cap and overalls before you know it. I'm telling you. Liberals, I've seen it in Austin. They moved here from California. They are starting to go native. They are starting to just worship country music, real country music, Hank Williams stuff, uh, rockabilly, you name it. And, and I see our victory happening. Our culture of freedom is dominant, is beautiful, is good compared to the Hollywood culture of death and what the system is pushing. And we're winning, ladies and gentlemen. We are winning. And... They've tried to paint all Americana as deliverance. And there is some elements of that in there. But we reject that. There are the good elements of Americana. The world has been a wasteland. The cultures have just been really bad, folks, in, in most periods in history, in, including Europe or Asia. And the Renaissance culture is the very best that civilization, East, West, you name it, ever produced and is the flower of science and human empowerment. And that's where we need to go. That's what we need to do. It's a very, very serious situation. So, again, I don't even think you can go get their banner. We're going to put it up just in solidarity to be nice on InfoWars tomorrow. It's one of the rotating banners. But you, everyone should make their own anti-NSA, anti-police state banners, their memes. Send them to InfoWars.com 
and we'll take a bunch of the best ones that are sent to show tips at Infowars.com. Send them by tonight. We'll post a big page with them. We'll send some of them out on Facebook, out on Twitter. I'm going to tell my graphics department I want to basically go get all the good NSA graphics that are already out there, redo them, freshen them up. Uh, or come up with your own ideas. They come up with some great ideas, but in short time frame. And we're going to create some of our own memes tomorrow. It's about fighting back. It's about getting involved. Now, we're going to come back from break and get into the huge Iran news that I have not covered yet that is so incredibly important. And we'll get into Bitcoin news. Woman held by TSA for reading Jewish paper goes public. Uh, the, new, the latest on Hillary. Google Glasses takes off on Virgin Atlantic, spying on everything you do. I won't be flying Virgin Atlantic, and we, we, you gotta you got to speak out against this. But before we go to break, Infowars.com, PrisonPlanet.com, we are a major platform of liberty. And I know you've been supporting it. That's why we're able to be this platform, this platform of resistance, this platform to try to launch other platforms and to help others. No other talk show host have like other talk show hosts on to promote their talk shows. Uh, I mean, nobody does that, uh, except maybe George Norrick, he's such a class act, having me on the last 11 years. Nobody does that. Or people like John B. Wells, he's another great guy. But you know, and I have Ron Paul on to promote his show. I have Jesse Ventura on to promote his show and network. I have been Swan on to promote. And the reason we do that, I never even asked Ben Swan to promote me back. The reason we do that, and all these other people, and, 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 and Mark Dice and all of them, even though Mark Dice was critical of me in the past, I don't even care. And we re I'm ready to die for this, ladies and gentlemen. You think, you think I care if somebody kind of has their own little problem and, you know, kind of a jealous fit or whatever? I don't care because the work he was doing so good, I just overlook all that. And he, he saw my high road. I'm not going to let the globalist dynamite the high road for me. I want to take the high road. I'm maturing. I want to take the high road with everybody because I want freedom and I want a future. And, 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 and so that's why I'm this platform for all these other talk shows over the years. Most of them who ended up flipping out, making lies up about me because they had a taste of a big show and then thought if I destroy Alex, I'll be big. Then I cut them off and then they, they have no, 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 you know, no, no, no platform. I'm talking about Ron Paul, Jesse Ventura, they have platforms. I mean, other people over the years you've heard here that you don't hear here because, because they destroyed themselves. We're here to really try to win it, folks. We're in it to win it. I want you to win. I want you to be successful. And to do that, you've got to fund our operation. Like, you'll hear me get rid of almost all the sponsors when we're making enough money. But then, uh, then I start to not plug stuff and need, need funding. Go to InfoWarsLife.com. Buy the Super Mail Vitality. Try it. I mean, I think you're really going to be amazed. And if you don't like it, still you supported the broadcast. Don't reorder. Everybody's reordering, by the way. The reordering on Super Mail Vitality is the highest of any of the products. Then we have the Fluoride Shield. We have the uh, nascent iodine proprietary uh, survival shield. We have the great Southern Mexico high mountain organic coffee. All of it is at InfoWarsLife.com. We have MadeIn1776.com, limited edition, MadeIn1776.com, limited edition, belt buckles, ball caps, golf shirts, you name it. All of it makes Made in America flags very hard to find. All of it available at InfoWars. Store.com, but made in 1776.com takes you right to the subpage, the Made in America high quality stuff. We got a bunch of new Molon Labe stuff coming out this week. In fact, the truck's coming right now. All Made in America. Beautiful. Best Molon Labe's you've ever seen. Let's get here in three days. Infowarsstore.com or 888 253 3139. I'm coming in. I need mid air refueling. I'll bomb the next target. Give me fuel. Bottom line, we are for human empowerment. And crushing of control freaks, criminals, scumbags, and gang grips. And uh, those of you that are weak-minded and like to be part of uh, globalist gangs, well, there's a gang that loves liberty. And we're going to crush you. That's how it always is. Good people just don't imagine all this evil stuff until it gets really bad. And then the giant rises, and you know what happens. <laughs> all right, let me get into the top story, really, of the day here. Other than the huge Bloomberg news. Caught in secret meetings, pushing nationwide gun ban after registration. <laughs> Pretty devastating in the treachery. I mean, we've caught them in literal racketeering, treacherous activities. Here's the bottom line in a nutshell. The Iranians, if you know the history in 53, pro-America Mohammed Mosaddegh was set up with radical Muslims who were told they'd be given the country. They blew up a bunch of mosques, shot stuff up, claimed Mosaddegh was behind them, and used that to overthrow Mosaddegh. They executed most of the top military people. Then they brought in the little princeling, the Shah, who, 
you know, whose father had been in control previously as the king uh, under a horrible tyranny. And then he was very oppressive and evil until the late 70s. He was then removed in 79 and out of France and NATO backing, this is on record, the Ayatollah Khomeini, Khomeini was flown in. And then they staged that whole hostage deal and held him until the next Reagan came in. I mean, that's been declassified, folks. That was all staged. That's why they were scared of Reagan. They let him go the day he was elected. <laughs> yeah, right. So all of that went on. I'm not even saying Reagan was involved in that. They gave him tow missiles, all these weapons. The deal was Iran-Contra later. Now, it doesn't mean they control or run the Iranians. They, they just let them get in there, the Shiites. And it's, 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 it's racially based off of the prophet and who can connect back to the prophet. And uh, it's one of the oldest forms of Islam. And it's 20% of Islam. It's arch enemies with the Wahhabists that run Saudi Arabia. And that's Sunni, that's a minority, the, the, the Wahhabists of the majority group, about 79% roughly. Uh, the other 1% is minority groups, Alawites and others, but that's really a Shiite group as well. The point is 79% roughly are Sunni. And so that's what this whole proxy war is about. The West backing Saudi Arabia, giving them Syria so that they can then take out Iran. The problem is Syria has been very friendly, pro-West lately, not done anything wrong. And they've got a big Christian minority being mass murdered by Al-Qaeda right now. Now, inner Iran, running videos on their news of blowing up Tel Aviv, blowing up U.S. aircraft carriers, saying they'll attack, sending, aircraft, uh, sending um, warships into the ocean on a course for the United States. Here's the Associated Press. Iran says warships headed close to U.S. borders. Iran warships dispatched the Atlantic Ocean will travel close to U.S. maritime borders for the first time, a senior Iranian naval commander said, saying it's a counter to our ships being there. We're barely gotten it where the Pentagon didn't attack Iran months ago and start World War III, and they barely could control Obama. And you got the hawks, the neocons pushing for war. The Iranians are not crazy doing this. They're in a deal with the neocons, just like they were in the 80s, to do this as a political provocation. And when we come back, I'll break down with what I think's behind it. Stay with us. All right, folks, if you just joined us, I'm breaking down Iran, really turning up the rhetoric about blowing up Tel Aviv, showing simulated videos of missile attacks on Tel Aviv, showing simulated attacks on U.S. aircraft carriers uh, out in the uh, Gulf out in the Persian Gulf, the Strait of Hormuz. I mean, this is really war provocation. And the, you had the Iranian Supreme Military Commander, you guys print me that again last week, saying uh, we have sleeper cells inside the U.S. and have asymmetrical warfare, which we know. Which we know. And the globalists, by the way, would like to have a major war. They would like to be able to nuke Iran. So what is Iran doing? At a higher level, there's double, double dealing. The Navy wants to get its ships expanded, and that funding's coming up in about a month. The, 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 the debate's going on right now here in the U.S. Iran wants to be able to keep the fear going, or the Mullahs are 70-plus percent in major studies, you can look them up, unpopular. Iran, half their population is under 30, and it's accelerating. They, 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 want, they want rock and roll and porno movies, folks. I mean, let's just get down to the truth here. And the point is they, they really don't like the mullahs, okay? So that's what's going on. And I'm not even saying it's good to want Western culture, but the point is the, 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 the mullahs are very unpopular, so they want to have more war rhetoric. They don't want the fighting to end. The West doesn't want the fighting to end. Israel's going to be able to use this as a political fodder. But it's too dangerous, folks. That's why the Joint Chiefs would not, you know, told Obama, A, the military knows it's wrong. B, we don't like funding al-Qaeda. Everybody's going public. Um, we are not going to be part of an open air war against Syria. People know the Christians are being persecuted. It's very evil to kick out Assad who's not doing anything and, 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 and who's democratizing slowly but surely and then put al-Qaeda in. I mean, no, we're going to totally lose our soft power here just from a corrupt point of view. This is very discrediting. And what happens when these al-Qaeda people get all this surface-to-air missiles they've gotten from Benghazi and other areas. Well, the Israeli top generals on the record last week, Jerusalem Post, saying they're going to attack Europe and the United States and Israel with them. Because they're not, they're, not, they're not controlled by the West. They're turned loose, folks, like letting King Kong go in a China shop or a bull loose in a China shop.
And that's what's going on. And then the globalists, the big bankers and the rest of them, they sit back and manipulate and control the chaos because they run the system. So the bigger the war, the no-bid contracts flow. The bigger the war, the more power they get, the more right they can take. Meanwhile, you're destroying competition, destroying our society, threatening World War III. Stop it! You people are bad for business, short-term, mid-term, long-term. Just from a prospectus, if I was a globalist, I would not be acting like you people are. You people can't even run nuclear reactors properly. They're leaking everywhere, 91% of them. You people have become delusional. You're lazy, you're control freaks, you're idiots. You have old scores to settle with Western culture you want to destroy. The globalists have, have hated Western culture that has made them powerful for hundreds of years. They hate the uppityness of it. They hate the renaissance. They hate people being free. They want to get rid of it because they always have to contend with it. Well, I'm sorry you've got to contend with competition. I'm sorry you've got to contend with innovation. I'm sorry you've got to contend with that, okay? But you do have to contend with it. And I would tell the establishment, stop trying to blow the engine of progress. You people will only bring yourselves down. You cannot bring others down and then not end up having it come back on you. You cannot win at this scenario. If you had wisdom instead of just smarts, you would look 10 steps down, not three steps down. You would see where this is leading and you would turn back now. So Iran wants political diversion, so does the West. It's a huge provocation. Iran, don't miscalculate and think Israel won't just nuke you. And there's, of course, it's so fashionable to hate Israel. Folks, all these countries are run by the same type of people. Come on. Stop being naive chumps out there. These wars let bad people run all these countries. That's why bad people animate things. Getting back into the Clintons and, and Clinton running around raising money off poor black kids and keeping almost all of it for his fleet of jets and houses and Hillary and all her crimes. Not just Benghazi and all the new stuff, but all the things they did. I was a talk show host from 95 when Clinton had only been in for two years, right through 2000 when he left office. And I covered him six days a week. Because back then I did Saturdays and five days a week, weekdays and then Saturdays. So it was natural to go back six, seven years ago to doing a Sunday show because I already always done a weekend show. In fact, sometimes I did seven days a week because if other hosts wanted me to fill in, I wanted to get on air. I wanted to talk about the New World Order. I wanted to warn people. Nobody was talking about this back then. Except places like Drudge Report, because they would they would cover Big Brother and things that were coming. You, you, you could kind of see the libertarian pro freedom, you know, ideas even then on the Drudge Report. And Drudge Report would link to a World Net Daily article that I was in and took photos for. Uh, so I guess I was on the Drudge Report way back you know, way back in the mid '90s, like '97, '98, when black helicopters would you know come in and blow up buildings they'd secretly lease to terrorize the public and have psychological warfare people there gauging what Americans would do. You know, I was breaking stuff like that. World Net Daily would pick it up. My website didn't look professional enough, you know, to even be linked to. But but they would pick up my article and my photos on World Net Daily. He'd link to that. <sighs> so that's the kind of stuff that Jay Leno talked about as well, <laughs> about black helicopters in our report. Because it was pretty darn interesting. They were crashing in Houston and blowing stuff up in Kingsville and tried to bribe the police chief and then took our vi video at gunpoint and that made the news. I mean... And the media would go, look at this crazy guy in Texas. He thinks black helicopters are after him. Except here's Jay Leno. I can't do a good imitation. Except there's one thing that's funny. It really did happen. Yeah. It's just, but the issue is, is that the Hillary papers, to give you an example of what independent free press could do. Back in the mid-90s, 95, 96, when Drudge was rising, and before that, when he had his online newsletter email, no one was doing what he was doing, which was just real news hound stuff that people were doing 50 years before, 100 years before, before the hundreds of independent newspapers got bought up by the big four. And he was just, well, this looks interesting, this little piece of news that nobody's covering, or this piece of news I got sent, or this little local story. He was decompartmentalizing. Because, I mean, 20 years ago, folks, if, if somebody in a town shot a burglar coming in their house, the national news would never cover that. Or if an abortion doctor got arrested for being a Satanist and eating dead babies, you know, stories like that in the mid-90s, that would never be a national story because they wouldn't cover it nationally. So that's what I've been able to do after Drudge did it, but, but, but soon after was cover news Globally, just whatever I thought was interesting, whatever I thought exposed tyranny or promoted liberty. I would just as a natural free will person with no agenda but freedom, 
report how I saw things, give my take on things, and really just report the truth of what was going on. No formal training. And Drudge, I don't think, has any formal training. And, and that's why it was so much better, was because the system is there to basically train you how to conform to their controlled paradigm that is a micromanaging system. I would liken it to the new Lego movie that has an excellent message. And I literally had three people when I walked out separately say, I thought you made this movie. I can't believe this. I'm like, no, I didn't make this movie. People that want freedom made this movie and got it out. And now that all of Hollywood is rebelling at every level, they're having trouble putting their message out. Plus, all their anti-freedom movies don't make money now. The revolution's on, folks, but side issue. Everywhere I look at stuff, because I, I track the news that Drudge may end up happening. And there's other huge websites out there, but they don't know how to make a story big because they don't know how to pick stories that are really big. Drudge knows when something's important. That's why it becomes big, because it deserves to be big. Guarantee the same reason Drudge links to us all the time, because the stories are not being reported by others, and we're breaking it, and we're credible. We make occasional mistakes, and we own up to it, and we do, but we're trying to tell the truth, so we're on the Drudge Report routinely. And then I'm just here reading out of the Washington Free Beacon. This has come out of the archive of uh, Hillary Papers that no one else will report on but the Washington Beacon. So now it's on Drudge, and now the media will be forced to cover it. And it's so good to not be able to have them ignore us. It's so good to not have these crooks be able to suppress us anymore. And guess what it turns out? That in May of 1992, Stan Greenberg and Celinda Lake, top pollster for Bill Clinton's presidential campaign, issued a confidential memo. The memo's subject was research on Hillary Clinton. And uh, guess, guess, guess who they were uh, worried about? Their conclusion was voters find slick in Bill Clinton, they find ruthless in Hillary. Fast forward to the mid-90s. They were circulating memos about Matt Drudge saying, do we take Matt Drudge seriously? Six months later, Drudge would break the story of an affair between Clinton and 22-year-old White House intern Monica Lewinsky setting in motion the events that would lead to the president's impeachment. And then it goes into it up here. It was the reports of him raping women, which he settled these cases, by the way. You don't settle stuff you didn't do in almost every case. Sometimes people do, but in Clinton's case, it happened over and over and over and over again. And I remember all these. This was in the Clinton Chronicles. It was coming out about Tyson Foods, the payoffs, Cattlegate, all of it. And Drudge would simply find these reports regionally, post links to them. Or if the newspaper didn't even have a site, he would just write a blurb about what was in that local paper. And then, it, I mean, and it totally shook up. Clinton and almost shot down their disgusting dynasty. And then it goes over in this report, just all the horrible things they did in the Hillary papers to try to suppress the press and anybody that would dare challenge the Clintonistas. And listen, there's a lot of bad people in Washington. But I mean, the Clintons, you know, I'm sick of looking at them. I'm tired of them. They're disgusting. I think it was CJ said that, um, and I think he's right, I, the, he bets Bill Clinton dies that they kill him and claim he had a heart attack or something when Hillary starts to run just because they're not going to want him as a political diversion and the sympathy factor. Message to Bill Clinton. You already look like a reanimated corpse walking around from all the drugs you've used and the 10,000 women you've had sex with. God knows how many diseases you've got, you rapist. Message to you. I bet you're, you better watch your six because they're going to want that sympathy vote. And I think, I think you're right. I think they'll try to kill Bill Clinton. I really want to talk about that on air, CJ. Turn your mic on. Because, because we got a lot of CJs. We got Chris Jordan. We got CJ. We got to, have to like call some people Mo around here. It's just, you know, just because we got so many, we got three CJs or something. There's plenty of us. There's plenty of us. Uh, so why do you think that? For the sympathy vote? Well, I think she's the obvious candidate because it's what the media is building up. And I think that's the easiest way to usher him in or to usher her in is to get the sympathy vote. That way it's plausible and the machines do the voting anyhow. That's right. And, but, oh, America, and it's the first woman. Why are you against women, Alex? Turn your guns in, except by then Obamacare will be four times more expensive than the previous. 
except four times over, except turning your guns in, except five-year-olds being taught to dress like girls and the girls like boys, except forced inoculations. Why do you hate women, Alex? Why do you hate, CJ, why do you hate women to say something like that? I mean, she's a known lying criminal witch that sold out her missile secrets to China and undoubtedly was involved in the murder of Vince Foster and covers up for the serial rapist Bill Clinton and they steal pension funds everywhere they're involved. They're total criminals. What? Just, just support Hillary. Be trendy. You want a bumper sticker for Hillary, buddy? Sure. Sure. And Michelle and then for Chelsea. Now, you better like Michelle, pal. You better think she's beautiful because the news media said it. Doesn't matter if she looks like a reanimated uh, vampire snapping turtle. I mean, that woman's like a crazed demon. I mean, uh, bow down to Michelle Obama. I'm going to do it right now. All right, about. I think Michelle Obama is the sexiest, coolest, most powerful woman I've ever seen. The only reason I said those things about her earlier is because I'm jealous of her. Man, I, even when I'm joking, lying feels bad. <laughs> Literally, I just felt ill, and my high, my high on life just went down like 20 points. I apologize. I shouldn't even be sarcastic. Ugh. Disgusting. Look at Hillary on Drudge Report right now. Just, just literally we're ruled by this sickening, manipulative crone. And if we just admitted she was evil and a con artist and a sickening snake and just rejected her. You know, when she was in the car going in to meet with Obama at Bilderberg during the election in uh, 2008 and the Secret Service held up the MP5. The Secret Service guy looked like a little boy, like he was 25. He had his tie on and everything, and he lifted it up like it was going to scare me, like, ooh. And I'm standing there protesting with a bullhorn in my hand doing nothing. And I'm like, we're wearing suits, and we're with the government and have earpieces, and look at my gun. <laughs> look at my soul, how much bigger it is than yours. Look at how much more honorable and manly I am than you, little boy. You think I'm afraid of your little gun? Strike me down right now, fool, and I will literally become a thousand times bigger, moron. Beating tyranny is what it's all about. Securing the future for humanity is what it's all about. Little boy in your tie with your earpiece, talking to yourself, walking over trying to intimidate us. The Marines they had flipping us off, trying to set us up, trying to intimidate us. You're a bunch of cowards. You got to be ashamed of yourselves. Be one thing if you were guarding these crooks and did it, but to enjoy it and act like we're the enemy because we want to expose a secret meeting that none of the horror press would cover. You know who did cover that 98 meeting? The Drudge Report. And so I, that's why I love the Drudge Report because of the courage. And believe me, there is a lot of courage to do this. I get harassed, I guarantee a Drudge does as well. It doesn't matter. Doing the right thing is what it's all about. This 17, 18 years ago, who's continued to break this even five, six years ago and nobody would believe us. Now it's mainstream news. See, they don't want us to have a debate about this until they roll it out so that the, so their PR can be ready with the PSYOPs. We have to expose it beforehand so then when it surfaces, people know that it has negative connotations. Now it's in Forbes. Now it's in Reuters. Now it's in Stars and Stripes. Now it's in Army Times. Now it's in all the major training manuals. Who is the number one enemy of the U.S. military domestically? Returning veterans, number one. Then gun owners, all gun owners. Then conservatives, libertarians, evangelical Christians. This is the latest 52nd Civil Support Team, WMD. And they use that as the front. They use the bomb disposal guys. I'm decompartmentalizing them right now. They already know this, but we got secret documents, as you know, in my film, The Takeover, we have them. By the grace of God, classified documents fell into our hands. Uh, the FBI got screwed up, or maybe did it on purpose and handed it to us on video at the military checkpoint on I-35. Uh, in, in Temple, Texas, but technically Belton. The point is, is that I'm just giving you data on this right now, ladies and gentlemen. They have been training since the days of Bill Clinton 24-7 to go after mayors, members of the legislature. They're going to kill all the real libertarians and people and all the real conservatives. And people like Jerry Patterson, who's a good guy, better grow up and realize all this. Because we've proven it all. I'm talking about here in Texas. We've proven they've got the military trained to go after. Now, the bomb disposal guys, they aren't. They're the front to make first contact with the military and police. And, oh, it's bomb disposal, but you got to keep it secret. By the way, we're here to help you with SWAT team raids, especially with right-wingers. We've got special units, and it turns out the special units many times now are actually contractors in unmarked U.S. military uniforms. And what you just got is highly classified, not even on paper, what I just told you.
Believe me, that's why the Pentagon listens. They know I know what I'm talking about. Of course, I've been doing this 19 years. It'll be 19 years in three months. 19 years almost. I've been doing this when no one else would. So I have all the data. I have all the intel. I've got all the pieces. Nothing special. You would know this too if you've been doing it 18 plus years. You've been watching baseball for 18 years? You know about baseball, don't you? I know about this. They keep everybody else compartmentalized. Well, here it is. Here's the headline. Remember, remember three years ago we broke this? And got the colonel on when they were doing gun confiscation in Ohio, drills of door to door and raiding the gun shop. And then it became a national news story and the colonel came on and tried to deny it, even though he was in earlier local Arcadia. That was in Iowa, actually. Uh, articles about the gun confiscation. Here it is. Oh, this is brand new. Out of media trackers. Ohio National Guard training envisions right wing terrorism. Translate that. Military expands training for war with domestic groups. Or, or headline should be, establishment prepares to stage false flags and blame liberty movement. Because that's all this is, is yes, the libertarian veteran gun owners are going to blow everything up and they're going to kill everybody. No, you're going to blow up a major city or something like that, and blame it on us and start a purge, and then there's going to be a shooting war. And you want to get all the cops and military ready. Oh, you mean they said that the Patriots was going to gonna work with Al-Qaeda and the, 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 the Nuka City, and the, 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 I guess Obama, Obama was right. And then once it all happens and starts, because Foghorn and Leghorn and the media is like, I see, I see there. You know, because Chucky e. Schumer's up there going, I say, I say, the right wing going to blow stuff up there, boy. Gee, Dad, that looks like a cat. No, no, that's a, no, 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 that's a rooster over there. That's not as good. Roosters are black. They have fur on them. I mean, they are, look, I say, I say, the liberty movement is working with Al-Qaeda. So when we come back, I'm going to tell you all about this as they accelerate the Civil War plan. How wonderful. And then they can purge everybody. And then you really will have FEMA camps. And let me tell the military and police something. You're not stupid. There will be a civil war if this happens. And you are going to die. We're on the march. And we are broadcasting worldwide from FEMA Region 6. FEMA Region 6 over. Thank you for joining us. So here's the deal. You can like cowards. Just stay in the matrix and keep watching your football. And go along with it when they start blowing stuff up and showing dead children and saying the liberty movement did it. Remember they arrested Atari militia after two years of trying to get them going to gun shows and stuff to talk about killing feds. And they went, well, I guess. And they go, well, if the UN takes over, the FBI agents go on and starts killing people. What are we doing? He goes, I guess we'll have to organize and defend America. We'll have to fight back. And the FBI arrested them for saying if the UN comes in and if they're set up FEMA operations and start putting people in FEMA camps and killing them, what do we have to do? Well, I guess we'll have to fight back. Why do you keep asking me that? I just hope it doesn't get there. And then they wanted to put those people in jail. I mean, I'll say that. I'm not going to a FEMA camp. I'm not putting up. You're not going to teach my five-year-old how to have anal sex. I'm sorry, you pervert scum. It's over. And I want to tell the police and everybody else that are on power trips. And I'm not saying all the police, but the ones that have been trained that you're God. You're going to find out who God is. And it's called reality. If the Civil War starts and 1% of the 170 million it's grown, gun owners fights back, that is 1.7 million combatants. And most of them are former military who know they've been DU'd, know they've been screwed over, shot up. Man, they're just, they don't want, let me, well, some of them want to kill people, and you know that. And a lot of them don't want to do it, but once they start, man, I mean, whoo, whoa. I mean, you idiots take somebody like me out or Ron Paul or start arresting folks. I mean, you're going to be dead. And, I, and, I, and by the way, listen to me. I don't look forward to that. I don't want you to die. I want you to live old. And I want you to have long days, pleasant nights, and live long and prosper. But let me, as Spock says, well, let me tell you something. This is the ultimate globalist plan, and it is on the drawing board on record. And I've confirmed this with top-level brass. Most of them have been purged. But the point is... That they do, they think they can win a civil war. And they've done the computer war games. And they think they know, they're incredibly wrong. They think there'll be a year to two war. Breakdown of a lot of essential services. They're going to 
harden the main cities. They're already doing that. And then kind of have a war against the rural areas and then pose as saviors and create a ratting out process, kind of turning all of America into a giant re-education camp. And then they plan to release soft plagues to debilitate folks. It's already going on. It's going to be bad. I mean, and by the way, they're going to go for broke. And the military and police that work with them will be given real inoculations that are going to protect you and your family from what's released. But when they're telling you, oh, sorry, the general public can't have it because there's not enough, remember that's a soft kill during the Civil War. The Civil War will be accompanied with bioweapons. I want you to understand that, okay? And, and it's, it's, it's just unbelievable. And a lot of military and police are going to go along with it just so they get the, get the treatments. They thought all this out. I just, and I don't even like talking about this on air. And believe me, the NSA is freaking out right now that I just said that on air. Let me continue. By the grace of God, am I still alive here? And they're not ready to start the Civil War yet. Now, I've told the story a lot of times about deer hunt when I was a kid. We'd see a good-sized buck come out chasing some doe. And my dad would say, you know what, wait, wait. There's going to be a bigger one if you want a trophy. Usually coming out in about a minute or two, he'll let that young dumb one come out. He's watching. And then he said, get your guns up, get ready. And then here would come a big buck running right out after the other one. That's the same deal. They don't want to take me down until they are ready to take the whole deal down. Here's how it'll work. City gets nuked. They say liberty movement does it. I will be hit simultaneously or right before they do that. You'll never even hear I've been taken out. You just won't hear about me anymore. It'll be simultaneous or right before. They rolled a bunch of their fake terror networks right before 9-11. The day before, September 10th into the 11th, they were already rolling them up to keep their mouth shut that they knew it was really an inside job. They were rolling up any witnesses the day before. Well, it goes the same for resistance. Ron Paul will either be told, shut up or you're dead. They're not going to trust him. He'll have a stroke or a heart attack. Or the gas man you'll hear is blown up at his house. I'll be dead. Um, they'll send in their best Merck hit teams up front and they will kill people like Judge Napolitano, you name it. Anybody they see as a leader, anybody they think can resist and organize people. Then they're going to roll out in phase two preachers and local leaders and authors. And everybody they always had a score with, they're, they're going to go after everybody. They're going to go into the Libertarian Party and other groups and say, look, you get with the program and do what we say or, or you're going to be arrested as well. For connection to the new king of X city. Then the bioweapon, it's like, oh, the illness, it's, you know, it's spreading, it's... It'll kill a couple million probably in the first couple months. The fear, but don't worry, we're trying to get the vaccine. It's the people that didn't take the vaccine. They caused this to, the whooping cough to mutate. Something like that. And, and, and that's why it's killing everyone, this super pneumonia. It's the fault of the non-vaccinators. They're the reason Trishon 7 is, you know, out or whatever. And our scientists have proven it. And then it's just going to be hell on earth. And I would guess... Because enough people know the game plan, I, I, I would say a third of the police in the U.S. will be killed in the first year. And I would say you'll have, it'll be, it'll be like World War II level. You'll have hundreds of thousands of U.S. military will be wiped out, which is great. The globalists love that. It'll be terrible for those of us that care about the military. Uh, and then they'll bring in the stabilization force, Canada, Mexico first. It's, it's on paper to help during the attack. I mean, thank God they were here to help. And then the, the European troops are going to pour in. Then the UN troops, the whole nine yards. I mean, it is just going to be Saudi Arabia and Pakistani, whole world ganged up. Chinese are going to land in California. Troop carrying ships. They've already been given the whole, the whole Pacific. They've already been given the entire Caribbean, all pre-placed on record. And, and we're going to face a million chai -coms. I mean, It's just unbelievable how horrible it's going to be. And all of you, see, you just got organic wargaming right there. I mean, and that's, by the way, that's the plan. But first, they want to wipe out the military police in the first year, in the first wave, and identify who won't play ball. So go ahead, play ball. Get your vaccine. You're being watched the whole time. You will be absorbed down the road. And it's going to be high cotton for you guys for a while, though. Raping, pillaging, killing, all you bad guys that work for the system, you're going to have a lot of fun. Except all the former Special Forces people are going to be killing you 24-7. And that's another thing you've got to understand is the minute, the minute the nuke detonates or 
you hear a bioweapon's been released in New York and people are dying in like 12 hours. The minute you hear that, and you, it may be some false alarms, you've got to bug out immediately. No cell phone tracker communications, you know that. You've got to immediately pull out because when they wipe out people like myself, they're then going to wipe out former military leaders. They're going to wipe out special forces type commanders who they're afraid, who they've been tracking, that they know could lead a resistance. So let me go over this for you. They're going to go after media leadership, military leadership. They're going to have a congressional leadership. They're going to kill people in Congress. They're going to kill and, and arrest members of the media. And it, it, it's, it's going to be bad. And uh, hey, you know, this is what's got to happen. It's what's got to happen. Just know this, we've got the jump on them big time because of all the human intelligence we've had for 50 years of the Patriots. They, they wanted to try this stuff in the 70s, the 80s, the 90s. They've tried it over and over again, but I'm here to tell you, it looks like they're getting ready to try it. I've ne this, is, this is the biggest attack formation we've ever seen, and they are, look like they're going live with this. Now, all I'm telling you is just get ready. And believe me, you may think you've served the system your whole life. They've already got your psychological profile. They know you're not evil. If you're not evil, they're going to kill you. Do you understand that? It's like oil and water, folks. It don't mix. You understand that? So you want to be part of something really evil, all of you that like evil? You're going to really get a big taste of it, just like Germany did. 20 million dead at the end of that little, little escapade over five years. I mean, you want front row tickets to Armageddon, you're going to get them. Hardcore communist, collectivist, socialist, run by foreign banks, having their way. They want pure power to line up and torture and kill whoever they want. And they've got all their collaborators at every major city. And I would just tell people this. Use your brain. The police and military, even if they're brainwashed and even if they're firing on you, you want to stay out of their way. Remember who collaborated politically, economically, culturally. Remember who collaborated, who runs things. Who runs things? That's, that's the enemy. Now, also, another sign, you're going to see top people fleeing the country right before this happens. And they've already been doing it for a while because they're so jittery when they've been letting on these plans. And by the way, these mayors that are in meetings with Bloomberg... They're going, you're really registering to take them? And they're all, yes, we are. <laughs> I mean, those mayors, I was, for, I was for registering to actually try to stop crime. You're going, I'm not going to be part of this. 50 mayors just exited. 50 mayors. See, folks, I've told you I've held back information for years. But now's the time for you to really start hearing what I think is really going on. And unfortunately, it is what's going on. I'm not wrong. This is not my opinion. I have 95% of the data confirming everything I've said. The puzzle's almost put together here. That's why I just get absolute chills every time I think about it and act so wild on air because this, this for me is just like absolutely risking my life, putting myself completely out there against this enemy. And I've studied this enemy so much. I know this enemy. And, and it just makes me sick to think about what they're going to do to people once they get control. And so I try to just get aggressive and angry instead of crying, folks, because, my God, this evil we're facing is just unbelievable. There it is, 50 of Bloomberg's mayors bailed over gun confiscation agenda. I would say that's a good headline, but it's just so horrible, there's no way to describe it properly. 50 of Bloomberg's mayors uh, quit, that might be, be but quit over gun confiscation um, plan that leaked. What's the best headline? Yeah, 50 of Bloomberg's mayors, well, they quit the group. So we can say technically, as long as you explain that, 50 of Bloomberg's mayors quit after gun confiscation plan leaked. That's the headline. Let's change it to that. 50 of Bloomberg's mayors quit. They quit his group. We'll put that in the subheadline or whatever. New York mayor warns that group promotes confiscation of guns and from law abiding citizens. That's an excellent subheadline. The point is 50 of Bloomberg's mayors quit after gun confiscation after nationwide gun confiscation plans leaked. You want a short headline, but let me think of that. How long is it? I need crystallize it. Matt Drudge was here. He could tell me how to do it. Or maybe Joseph Farrell. Let me throw anything away. Um, 50. Because, I mean, how do you crystallize this evil? 50. 50. Put the headline back up here. 50. Oh, I see it there. 50. Thanks. 50 of Bloomberg's mayors quit. 
That's the group, but it, they'll, they'll read that in the article. 50 of Bloomberg's, because that's what it is, they're in his group, so they quit. 50 of Bloomberg's mayors quit after gun confiscation plan leaked. That's it. After gun confiscation plan leaked. And folks, this is the new article with all the intel, all the data. David Knight's report on this last night. All of it right now. Ready at Infowars.com, at Infowars.com, at Infowars.com. And it's been tweeted out at Real Alex Jones, retweeted immediately. And we're going to add to that some of the videos where they say they're going to confiscate the guns. And, uh, of course, uh, the, the mayor pro team in Austin saying, oh, the plan is to register and confiscate. So that's, that's key data of their deception and their evil. Now, here's the article. Uh, this is out of WASZ News Channel 3. Mock disaster training exercise in Scoto County. Is that right? <coughs> Socio. And it goes on to say the Army National Guard responds to the school being attacked. A dead science teacher, weapons of mass destruction, first responders in hazmat suits at the Ohio Army National Guard. They had to counter the right wing. Don't forget there's such a thing as domestic terrorism, they go on, as they practice taking on two school employees who are disgruntled over the government's interpretation of the Second Amendment, plot to use chemical, biological, and radiological agents against members of the community. That's right. The gun owner. See, the headline on this should be military trains to fight gun owners or military runs PSYOP to ca military cast gun owners as enemy. See, that's, see, 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 what we really need to do is decipher the bull. I've told you every federal grant I've seen that goes back 20 years for these shooting drills is the local you know, homeschooling group attacks and murders the children in the drill. The children who they actually put in the drill without asking beg for their lives and mommy uh, blow up a bus that's been donated so that we can scare them more. Uh, oh, in this drill, it's a land rights conservative group is going to attack the police station. In this drill, gun owners are going to attack the school right here. W-A-S-Z. And then even though the article that's breaking, national news, I'm not criticizing it, is Ohio National Guard training envisions right-wing terrorism. No, it doesn't. The military is training in, in drills all over the country with police, casting gun owners as people that are going to kill everyone so that when the black op teams go out and commit a bunch of false flags, they can come kill me. Do you understand how close this is getting? And then you cops get to have a civil war with 100 million gun owners plus. You think that's a fun job? Who's your friend? I'm your friend, and you better be my friend, and you better get religion right now and figure out this takeover, or they're going to do it. Colin Watson right now, I want an article on this. I mean, that's just, just making me sick. It's making me sick. Making me sick how obvious this is. We got criminals running the country. They're going to blow stuff up and kill kids and blame us. I've told you over and over again. They're going to shoot up schools and blame them on the liberty movement. And then they might even nuke a city or blow up the power grid or release a bioweapon and say we did it. I'm telling you, whatever happens, they're going to blame us because we're the people in opposition to their evil. Teaching kids two plus two equals five, trying to screw their little brains up. <coughs> And I tell you, you're going to find out who your friends are in all this. A lot of people are cowards out there and are you know, bailing out of the liberty movement because they see how real it is now. It isn't just some group or club they're in. But a lot of people, we didn't even think we're our friends or our friends now because they realize how serious this is. We only stop this by being bold. You're only going to stop this by speaking out. You're only going to stop this by admit it's going on. But we don't have time to screw around. Hey, look around you folks, wherever you're listening to this show. There's no secret team out there going to save you. Look around you. There's no other group out there. You're all we got, and that's a lot if you knew how much power you had. But I read these reports where they train, and now they've gone operational in the news. They haven't been doing that in the last 15, 20 years. This has been going on for a while, but now almost every operation is gun owners attacking the mall, gun owners attacking the supermarket, gun owners attacking the church. And they get the churches involved, and they all walk around with a little, little preacher, you know, who's probably, you know, turning tricks with, with you know, people down the street. And the point is, you know, in total twinkle toes. And they get them up there and have the, pr the parishioners practice the right wing attack on the church. I mean, it's unbelievable. And then they believe it. Oh, the right wing's gonna, the gun owners are gonna attack the school. The gun owners, lowest crime rate out there. The libertarian con con uh, conservatives, lowest crime rate, everybody knows that.
We're going to bioweapon attack the Ohio town. 50 of them bail after gun confiscation plan leaked. The headline has now been upgraded. 50 of Bloomberg's mayors quit after gun confiscation plan leaked. That is so huge. And I didn't even get into the TSA ripping diapers off people with colostomy bags who've had surgery. Uh, that's a big story up at drugsreport.com. Uh, I didn't even get into, notice they're saying Ohio teachers are going to bioweapon and nerve gas the school because they're mad that the Second Amendment's being trampled and the definition being changed. Here's Law Blog. Supreme Court asked to clarify what it means to bear arms, changing the word to mean a bear, like a bear in the woods. I'm not kidding. This is the Supreme Court hearing it right now. You might think the question would be settled by now, but no, it's been brought forward. They're not playing games, ladies and gentlemen. They're going for broke. We have to be aware of their plans. How do you take America over? Fund Al-Qaeda, let them attack us, set up a police state to counter the people you publicly are in control of because they're offshore globalists. How excited would you get if you found out America was run by offshore ruthless corporations involved in a total corporate takeover, funding the destruction of the nation, all your basic liberties, funding terror groups, and preparing to persecute and purge veterans, gun owners, conservatives, libertarians, and evangelical Christians? What would you do if you learned that? Well, it's in the news now, what we told you years ago, that they say it's terrorism to be an evangelical Christian or in the Tea Party. Don't be part of it or you'll be court-martialed. This is Soviet-type activity. They're trying. And you're like, well, they're not going to get away with it. Oh, when they blow up some schools and some shopping malls and, and, or release bioweapons or all of it together or nuke a city and blame it on us, they're going to try. And the average coward in the government's going to go ahead and go along with it. And folks, if you go along with it at that key juncture, it's over. These people really want to hurt America. They really do hate America. They really do hate the, the idea of freedom. And they conquer us fully, they conquer the world. And all you mainline Republicans that are trying to work with the Democrats to shut down the Tea Party, you're suicidal. Not just for the party, for yourselves. You are nuts. You are crazy. 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 I mean, I just cannot believe how real this is and that it's all really happening. And I see articles every couple of days where they're training where gun owners are going to attack schools. That's never happened because they're gun owners. Pro-Second Amendment people, I know them, I'm one of them, are the most neurotically law-abiding, good, squared, put-together people. It's all I hang out with. All I hang out with is gun owners and, and, and liberty lovers and my fellow Texans and mil veterans I just, I just love all my veteran friends. If I call them at 2 a.m. and say, come help me in my truck, you know, I need, they get up and come help me. All these trendies wouldn't help you. You know, and, and of course, that's who the enemy wants to come after. It doesn't matter if the military has been used for evil stuff. They hate these people because on average, they're good people. And they how beautiful. They want us all to kill each other in a civil war. Let me tell you, the word's out. You're not going to get away with that plan. But imagine how desperate you'd be if you knew the plan and you knew you were right. And you've got their whole battle plan from the deep research. It's all right there. And now it's all getting ready to go operational. I mean, I'm running around like a chicken with my head cut off. I could sit up here and be real calm and say, this is clearly a plan to demonize the liberty movement ahead of a provocation to come after us. But it's God-given natural thing that I'm obnoxious and like this to get people out of their trance. I don't do this on purpose. I can't control myself because this is a normal activity, folks. I mean, I literally, during this show, am ready to get in a fight. Because that's what it is. I'm here talking about this enemy running all over us, getting ready to do horrible things in our name and set us up. <clears throat> like you've never before, spread the word about InfoWars.com and PrisonPlanet.com and anybody else that promotes liberty. Stand together, speak out, get ready, and warn everyone of stage false flags to be blamed on the liberty movement. This is real. Nightly news tonight, 7 o'clock. We'll cover all this in detail. PrisonPlanet.tv. Thank you all for being members of PrisonPlanet.tv. Thank all our stations, our listeners. God bless you.